Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. This video is going to be a social critique and I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. Basically in front of you here you're seeing $500,000 homes being developed. None of them have any sort of renewable energy sources and quite frankly none of them are worth half a million dollars in my opinion. The only reason why they are so much is because of the economy, economic expansion in this part of Western Canada right now. Half a million dollars for these homes, believe it or not. That's just, uh, that's far out. And I'm not knocking the prosperity aspect of it. I'm not knocking the, the wealth aspect of it because most of these people are, you know, middle class wage earners who, quite frankly, are taking out 25, 30, 35 year mortgages in some instances to pay for these monstrosities which have absolutely no self-sustaining systems in them whatsoever. So people are essentially banking on the economy remaining as it is for another three decades in order to pay off these monstrosities. Between three hundred and six hundred thousand dollars that's the average of these homes. And like I say, I'm not knocking it. If you're if you're able to afford one of these, by all means, great. But all I would ask people to do is please, if you're going to invest in something like this, go the extra little mile, spend 20 grand and put some solar panels up there, up top. You know, look into some solar heating options. You know, put some sort of renewable energy into there. Look into geothermal. You know, make those investments which are going to actually pay themselves off in the long run. Because people forget in Canada that we essentially are a stone's throw away from the Arctic up here. And without the grid, all of these, uh, these monstrosities are, you know, for one, they make good tinder, I suppose. But, you know, none of them are really built to withstand any major sort of weathering or erosion none of them are really you know built with uh, as they were built back in the day like those old townhouses in britain you know that are hundreds of years old like the masonry work on them you know was built to last these things are built of like uh what's that wood called particle board and i don't know it's plastic crap essentially and they're selling these places for four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, and yeah, they feel cozy because you know they are well insulated. I'll give them that, but I mean, without natural gas and electricity, you know, this is all uh, a fantasy. This is all fairy tales. So, like I say, I'm not knocking the the prosperity aspect of it. I'm just saying that this is why shit's going to hit the fan in a bad way because none of these people seem to give two shits about going that extra mile and making an investment that will actually pay itself off not only if the grid never goes down but which will actually protect them if they ever had to go it alone if the system failed on some level. You know, they're willing to spend so much on vanity and so much on, you know, decadence. They just don't think about what they're going to do if they ever have to, you know, if the system fails. It's just, uh, it's mind-boggling to me. And you propose that to a person and they're like, oh, that's, that's too expensive. You just spent... Four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars of money you do not have. Money you're going to have to pay for the next 30, 35 years. Which is fine if you're willing to do that. But you're planning on the economy staying the same way for the next 30, 35 years. If these houses start to depreciate when the boom stops, you're in big trouble. And at least if you've taken the the incentive to outfit your home with these renewable energy systems which like I said are totally justified you know far more justified than 
you know, some of the fancy driveways and shit I see people spending their money on around here. You know, this place is going to be a ghost town. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, uh, just a quick rant for you. Canadian Prepper out. Please let me know what you think about this one, guys.